Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maddie or Mad. Um, I started this YouTube channel because I wanted to share my knowledge and the things I've learned over the years as a self-taught fashion designer. I wanted to bring you in on the journey um, for anyone that's eager to learn about fashion, fashion design. Um, let's learn together. Today I'm going to go through the sewing machine that I use and the 8 essential tools that I find super useful when I sew. Okay, so the first tool or tools are the fabric cutters. I have the Fiskars scissors and I've got the pizza, the pizza cutter. That's probably not the right, right name for it, but that's what I call it. When I first started off with sewing, I bought cheap fabric scissors and I think after, after the first project they literally went blunt. When it comes to fabric scissors you are getting what you pay for for sure. Um, these scissors get through tough fabrics, multiple layers, they've been really good for me and they just make my workflow very efficient. Second essential tools are your sewing needles. So depending on your project, depending on the fabrics that you want to work with, sewing needles make a huge difference. Me, I work with a lot of medium to heavyweight fabrics, so I like to use the size 90 slash 14. So this can get a bit confusing. Um, needles all look the same, but they make such a huge difference to your project. So for, for reference, if you want to work with a lot of lightweight fabrics, I'd recommend the 70 slash 10s for heavy, heavy weight. So your heavyweight denims or leather type of fabrics, you want to go with like a 100 slash 16. So I believe the difference in those figures are just country based. If you go to Spotlight, this brand, Schmetz, this is the one that I love the most. I've tried other sewing needle brands and they fail me, they break quite easily. I found that this brand had been very durable and I've literally sewed jeans. So these haven't failed me and they're categorized as like universal needles or jeans, leather, depending on your project. So it's just really useful and definitely, definitely worth it third is good thread. Good thread, again, depending on your project. I like to use this, okay, this brand. I'm gonna absolutely butcher the name. I, I actually don't know how to say it. I think it's Rassant? Rassant? I don't, I don't know, but it's a strong, strong polyester thread, I believe. It makes such a huge difference, again, to your project. You can use, there's Gutterman threads as well that I believe are very suitable for embroidery and for embroidery, you're using very fine threads um, and shiny threads. So yeah, depending on your project, you're gonna wanna find a thread that's suitable, um, suitable for you. Number four uh, is Taylor's chalk or fabric pencils. This is gonna be really useful for you when you are cutting out your pattern on your fabrics. I found that I love I love to use Taylor's chalk because I honestly, I lose the pencils and I get really lazy when it comes to sharpening them. I know you, you can get the pull apart um, pencils, but yeah, chalk, I can easily find it in my drawer and yeah, it's, it's fun to use for me. So this is like the ugliest chalk <laughs> ever, but Taylor's chalk is the best. Number five, Measuring tape doesn't even have to be super expensive. You can literally get measuring tape anywhere. Rulers, you are going to need rulers when you start sewing. Just get familiar with, with measurements and measuring things out, measuring your body. Very, very useful. I literally, um, I put it around my neck when I, when I sew because I'm always measuring out things and when when you have a pattern, sometimes it doesn't have seam allowance. You need the measuring tape to to give to put in your seam allowance. So measuring tape for sure. Number six, pins and clips. These pins that look like this that you can get anywhere, literally in the in the little sewing kits that they have at Woolies or Coles. Um, you need those. 
I found clips. Clips to be super, super useful, especially when you're hemming clothes. They're just, they're just easy, easy to use and even for heavyweight fabrics, it's just, it's just been super useful and you don't freak yourself with the clips. So I love clips. Number seven, another item that you might find in those little sewing kits is a seam ripper. Basic seam ripper, this is the basics of the basics. I think this literally costs me $1. So it doesn't need to be fancy, but especially when you're starting out, a seam ripper is so useful for you. And especially if you wanna do upcycling projects that requires you to take apart clothing, you need a seam ripper. Number, number eight is a cutting mat, okay? So, this is, I think this is the biggest one that I could get at Spotlight, so this is the one I have. If you're going to use, especially a pizza cutter like this, you're gonna want a cutting mat. So, it's really good if you don't want to leave cutting marks or scratch marks on tables or floors. I love to use the cutting mat and it has measurements as well on the cutting mat, so that's, that's really useful. I'm going to be talking about this bad boy right here. My most frequently asked question is, Maddie, I want to start sewing, but can you recommend a sewing machine? What sewing machine do you use? So this sewing machine is a Brother SE600. It's, it's actually an embroidery and sewing machine. Unfortunately, I had to buy this online from the US because for some reason, it's not available here in Australia, but I got it um, for this specific purpose for embroidery. So you can embroider in a four x four hoop for this machine, but it has been so good when it comes to my sewing projects. It's actually, it can get through some tough, tough fabrics. And yeah, it has a, a lot of stitches. I can do my button, buttonholes and I can sew, sew on buttons with this. I I love this machine, but I'm aware that it's it's not um, it's not so affordable, especially if you live in Australia. If I didn't need the embroidery function, I think I would go with a Singer Heavy Duty machine, like any from that range. I would definitely go for that machine because just because of the nature of the projects that I, I like to do. I like to work with a lot of mid to heavy weights. So many people that I know have such good things to say about the Singer Heavy Duty range and it's available at Spotlight. So yeah, that's the sewing machine that I'd recommend if you live in Australia or even if you live overseas because I believe that brand is carried everywhere. So the best advice that I can give for someone who's just starting out with sewing is upcycle your old clothes, take them apart, um, turn them inside out, assess the stitches, restructure the garments into what they were originally so then you can understand the construction of how a piece is made, turn it into something brand new. It's definitely the best way and cost-effective way and sustainable way to learn how to sew. You, you will just learn over time by being consistent and continuing to, to make projects. You, you will learn so much more, you'll get better. Just be consistent because practice does make perfect. I'm not perfect, there's, there's definitely a lot of things that I still need to learn, but I've come such a long way from when I started and I literally upcycled or made a new piece each week so thank you for watching um, all the products that i've spoken about today i'm gonna link in the description if you have any questions or anything um, hit the comments and i will reply for sure if you liked my video today please hit a like and subscribe to my channel for more sewing informative content peace